Let's talk about how to set up a launch team on Facebook. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go over to your um, to your Facebook um, page, to your Facebook account, log in, click on the home button so that you know you're you're at this place, and then you're gonna click on the groups tab and I have lots and lots of groups over here but I'm going to create a new group and it is really really simple we're going to put in the name that you want your um, your group to be sorry let's see I'm doesn't like it when I type and record at the same time so um, you can be you can name it the name of your launch group like uh, I'm naming it my author name because I want to I want to set it up like this, but I could easily name it Four Days in Paris Launch Group. I could name it whatever the name of my book is, Launch Group. Whatever you what whatever is going to make sense to you. The privacy you can make either public or private. The difference with a book like with a group like this, pri, uh, public is probably okay. Um, just know that anybody can see the posts that are happening in the group, whether they're a part of the group or not. Private means that only people inside the group can be a part of it. So you, if you have a, a book that's on a sensitive topic, you might want to go with private. I'm going to make this public and then you have to invite some friends in here. So I'm going to invite some of my um, colleagues. You start by inviting Sorry about that. I didn't realize it had stopped recording, but I invited a couple people and then I just pressed create, which was at the very bottom. So then you're going to wind up over here where it's going to walk you through the process and you can't see it. It's off screen here, but there's a check mark by invite members. The next step is to add a cover photo. So one of the easiest ways to add a cover photo is to hop on over to Canva and go over if you click on templates you'll go to facebook covers and it will pull up all kinds of templates you can also create create a blank um, cover over here so i'm just gonna see if i can find a um i'm gonna pause so y'all don't have to watch me do this this whole time so i just quickly uh, whipped up this little it's nothing fancy nothing special but it'll do the job for this um little thing then I'm gonna pop back over to Facebook and I'm gonna click on the add cover photo I'm going to upload a photo if you're not ready with this you don't have to do it right when um, you're setting up your group you can always come back to these steps but if you're ready to get people in there you know there you go and it'll allow you to um, reposition this so I'm gonna move this down um, It's a little annoying that the templates in Canva don't actually match the um, Facebook cover templates, but if you're really if you're really disturbed with the way it looks, you can always go back to Canva and play around with it. But that's good enough for now. So I can add a description that just says this is the reader group for um, Lexi Haddock's books, um, you know, things of that nature to do. Um, to, to finish this up and then create a post. So um, that's that's it. That's the easy things. Now I do want to show you one more quick thing because this is kind of important. Over here you've got all the all the information on how to set up the group, etc. Um, here's where you can put the name and description. It's already got the the name. You can change that if you want to. Um, but this is important because it makes it easier for people to find you. So um, that group is already used, which really stinks. Um, so then you just got to come up with this. I'm going to put author. And it's good to go. So one thing, once your group has more than 5,000 members, you won't be able to change this again. So that's why, you know, at some point in time, you want to update this so that it makes sense if you're doing multiple books, which is part of the reason why I went ahead and did that. But now it changes. If you notice, it changes up here. You no longer have a stream of numbers. You have an actual group name, which makes it just a lot easier to remember if you're um, on a podcast or if you're out someplace and you're like, I really want to invite people to my group, but shoot, I can't 
can't remember what it's called. Now I can say, hey, just join me, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Lexi Haddock author, and you can come be part of my reader group. So quick and easy, not hard to set up, and you can start utilizing it. You can update it. You can do all of those things whenever you want to. Have a great day.